What? Answers the old man. Baba, says that, it's me, it's on here. Baba, says his father, so long since we have spoken, how are your studies? Good, says Ato, all is well, I'm making top grades. I wanted to call and say hello. Have you spoken with your mother? No, says Ato. You should call her, Amir, and let her know that I wait for her, says his father. Let her know that I have not abandoned her, even if she has abandoned me. She doesn't like to hear about you, says Amir. No, little Bobo, says his father. Don't say such things. How can a wife not want to hear of her husband? You must force her to speak about me, make her remember what it is that she's abandoned. I can try, says Atta, but no, he won't. What about you, little boy? asks his father. When are we going to make you a match? When I finish my studies, Baba, says Amir, then I will be ready for marriage. The ambassador's daughter is still waiting, says his father. She is nice and delicate, such a sweet temptation. You could have her right now. <laughs> Let's wait, says Amir, until I finish my doctorate. A pause. A pause. A pause. Is there anything else, Bobo? asks his father. No, Baba, I just wanted to say hello. There is a television show coming up about a daughter who runs away from her father and the trouble that she finds, says his father. So I will go now. Call again when you like. He hates winter, the freeze of his hands on the phone. Not as bad as Hamburg, not as bleak, but inappropriate for his Mediterranean blood. Wise choosing Florida at the base. Keeps away the cold and the weak sun. Across the street is a Kentucky fried chicken. Beside it is a dense thicket of trees, leafless, spectral, skeletal. The ominous woods, trees in still darkest fear. He dawns again. He calls the home of his grandfather. His mother answers. Amir, I am so happy to hear from you. How is Germany? How is your doctor? Have you made a match? Are there any girls that like my child? Please, Omi, he says, one question at a time. His mother speaks for a while. He is happy hearing her voice. Atta imagines he hears her smile, wonders how this woman remains buoyant after decades with his father. He thinks of her leaving. It's like a kick in the chest, a holding an electrical fence as the current snaps the back of his neck. She is his mother. He loves her, but she is his father's wife. But his father is his father. Irreconcilable differences, intractable problems, unsolvable. Have you spoken with your father? His mother asks. A bit, he says. He doesn't mention me, does he? You know the answer, says Atta. Why even ask? Anger rushes to my heart, says his mother, her voice low. How dare he speak of me, as if he has insight? The man knows nothing. He is a brute and a bully. How dare that man speak of me? Please, Ami, it's hard enough. You're right, Amir, says his mother. I love you. <laughs>